On the exhale, roll chin to chest. Land the heels of the hands on the front of the carriage. A little bit of softness into the knees. Then you're gonna hold, exhale. And then inhale, you're gonna press away, lengthening out the sitting bones, reaching the tail and the crown of the head in opposition. Drop the chin slightly, low, 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 low. Good. Bend your knees more, Mario, and stick your sitting bones out a little bit more. Good, inhale there. Exhale to come back up, deep into the abdominals, head is heavy. Just come to the stopper, and then we'll repeat that. So inhale, look for as much movement in the spine as possible. Not too much in the neck. So bend the knees if you need to, to get a little bit more lift in the sit bones. And then exhale, the only reason the carriage comes back in is that flexion of the lumbar, shoulders out of the ears. One more time. Inhale to press out and away. Nice. Can you lift into more anterior tilt there? Mario, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah. Exhale, deep into the lumbar. You're going to curl up. Come all the way up to standing. To the top. Right, let's put the foot bars back up again. Good, and you can do all of the springs on. So just go into the second gear. Head rest is down. Come to lie on your backs, nice and safely. So stand almost on top of the pedal or the foot bar. So you can roll the sweat in a little bit. Good. A little bit of space here at the knees and the feet. Make sure you've got some space at your shoulder rest so we can go into some pelvic curls. Arms close to your side bodies. And then find almost a little monkey grip of the feet over the foot bar. So nicely in the center of the feet. Keeping the carriage still. The carriage is loaded so it shouldn't move. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale, you're going to posterior tilt the pelvis deep, hollow through the waist. Continue to roll all the way up to the top to your pelvic curl position. Nice. Glutes at the top, but not too much that you lose the posterior tilt. Breath in. Exhale as you roll down. Press the arms down into the carriage so your collarbones stay nice and wide. And you land all the way into a neutral position. At the bottom. Take a breath in. Exhale, start with the posterior tilt. So think deep abdominals to hollow the waist. Follow by pressing into the feet, downwards into the feet and drag the feet slightly towards you. Inhale at the top and then energy in the arms as you exhale, start to curl through the upper back, then middle back, low back, all the way to neutral. Make sure you're still wrapping the feet so there's a little bit of arch work the whole time. Last one. Exhale as you curl up, hollow through the waist. You can definitely use your arms here. We're going to hold here at the top. Both of you drop your pelvis just a little bit and then find a deep abdominal connection as you go a little bit more into the posterior tilt. And then see if you can lift the pelvis up a little higher. And then also lift through the upper back a little bit more without splaying the rib cage. And then carefully start to articulate back down on your next exhale breath. Narrow at the knees, keeping that parallel position the whole time. Very nice. Okay. Let's float the arms up to the ceiling and then next to your ears, you'll feel there's two little poles there. Grab onto those poles. The elbows are wide, just come to the out to the sides, but not completely collapsed. And then float right leg to tabletop. Follow with the left leg. Let's get the, the thigh bone directly over the hip for our spine for supine. Nice. Okay, so we're going to take an inhale. As the legs come across to the right hand side, you're going to press down through the back of your left rib cage and left shoulder blade, elbow slightly lifted. Then exhale, hug through the waist as you return back to center. Good, pressing down through the right rib and shoulder as you come across towards me, inhale. And exhale, hug the waist, return to center. Immediately inhaling across, keep the ribs heavy. Good, and exhale back to center. So imagine, let's go again, this movement was happening below your ribs, you feel that? Exhale back to center. 
Nice. So the bottom edge of the rib cage will lift, but almost feel like you're resisting a little bit more. And exhale back to center. Last one, over to the left. So you really should feel the obliques working. Try not to pull the knees towards you. Beautiful. Come back to center. Very nice. Let's keep the legs lifted. Arms just go straight up to the ceiling for a little hundreds prep variation. We're going to take the arms down, follow with the head and the chest as you come into a chest lift. Now lean with the arms first, lower the chest and the head at the last moment, arms directly over the shoulders. And again, arms, head, chest, make sure the waist goes hollow, navel to spine. And then rise or lift the arms, lift the chest even more as the arms start to lift and the chest and head. Low, good, exhale, arms, head, chest, broad across the collarbone. So feel that the reach is coming from under the armpits. And then lift the arms, elbows straight, lower the chest and the head. We're going to add the coordination with our hand spring. So we go arms, head, neck and shoulders and the legs. Reach them away a little lower, a little lower there, a little lower, a little lower. That's it. Now just the legs. Open and close the width of the foot bar. Bring the chest up higher as you bend the knees in. Then the arms rise, then the chest and the head. And we'll go again. So you're going to go arms, head, chest, and legs. Now just the legs. Open, close. Bend the knees, deepen the abdominal connection. Arms rise. Lower the chest and the head. And again. Arms, head, chest, shoulders extend and open and close. Drag your legs in. Arms rise. Keep the hollow through the waist as you lower. One more time. We're going to take it all the way up and forward. Legs extend. We're going to open, close the legs. Bend the knees, arms rise, but only to find the top of your knees. We're going to add a little single leg stretch here. Right leg extends, both hands on the left. One, change, two, change, three, change, four, and five. Good, hug the waist, six, chest is high, seven, collarbones wide, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the knees in, hands behind the back of the head. For crisscross over to the left, extend the right leg up. And a little rotation. One, change. Two, keep that height. Three, nice. Elbows are wide. Four, beautiful. Five, keep those toes aligned. Six, nice. And seven, good. And eight, lift off the shoulder. Nine, last one. Four, ten. Bring it back in. Hug the knees. Bring your feet up onto the foot bar. We'll go into our foot bar. Slide back to the shoulder, raise arms down on the side of the body. Flex the feet. I'm just going to get a little block here for a little extra awareness of the adductors. Can you flex your feet here a little bit more, Mario? Good. And now make sure you're not flexing your toes. I'm going to give you a little bit of head rest here. Lift the head. Nice. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, start to press away with the legs. Find your kind of your body wiggles into shape. Find your shape there. Pelvis neutral. Bend the knees to return. Nice and narrow at the knees. And again, exhale as you press out. Full extension through the knees. Inhale to return. Try and keep your pelvis nice and relaxed. Exhale to press. Inhale to return. Careful of arching or a posterior tilting. Go again. Keep a nice neutral position. Good. And returning back in. Good. Exhale. Let's go. Press. Inhale to return. Stay just light on my hands. Exhale to press. Stay on that. And inhale to return. Nice, so find those little inner thighs there. Exhale, stay on my hands. And return, let's just do one more time. And there's somebody's counting. I'm not counting. And return, hold it there. Slide into the necks of the toes. That's it. Exhale to press the legs out straight. Lift high into plantar flexion. Hold the plantar and bend the knees back in. Narrow knees there, Mario. That's it, exhale to press. Inhale to return. Let's keep that rhythm. Exhale to press and return. Full extension of the knees. So you want to get your legs all the way straight, pull up on the quads, and then bend to return. Narrow knees. Find full length and return. 
Now, as you press out, imagine the room's filled with honey. So you're going to lower into straight legs as if you're pressing into my hands. So you don't want to overlock the joint. Nice. But really feel like the air is thick as you extend. Two more. To press down into my hands. And last one. Press down. Good. Okay. Keep the toe position, but simply touch your heels together for a little baby V shape. Exhale, let's press out full adduction and then return. Only if it means your heels stay touching though. Maybe don't fully straighten your legs. Squeeze the heels and return. Nice. And exhale. Good. Keep that contact at the heels. And then keep going. Check that within this neutral pelvis, neutral spine, that you haven't started uh, uh, splaying, so we're splaying, flaring the rib cage. So just feel that you've got a little bit of pulling down of your rib cage without going into a posterior tilt though. So the tendency when we drop the ribs is instead of dropping the ribs, we actually tuck the pelvis. See if you can keep the pelvis neutral. Last one. Or not. Is that 100, Mario? Yeah, oh, you can't take count for me. I don't mind if you count. Okay, out to the side. Somebody needs to count. Okay, flex the feet. Good. Five. Well, must I move then? No, I'm fine. Fine. Sure? I was just a little bit too. Okay. Right, so exhale, staying on my hands. Exhale, let's press up and return. Nice. Try relax the toes. Good. And then just check in neck and shoulders. Often the concentration turns into sort of neck and shoulder tension. Just kind of relax the neck, shake out the neck. Oh, those feet are moving, keep them nice and still. And let's press away, stay on my hands. Knees a little wider, Mario. Yeah. Exhale to press. And make sure you straighten both of your legs at exactly the same pace and at the same time. And let's do four. Good. Control the end phase for three. So it's an extension push and a drag back in. And press and pull. Stay on my hands for the last one. Press. Oh, where are my hands? And pull. Good. Move your pelvis a little bit to the right. Now slide into the next of the toes. Make sure that little baby toe has its own moment on the bar as well. And then exhale, press out straight legs, lifting the heels, plant to flex. And then bend the knees, stay on my hands. Nice. Exhale to press. A little bit lighter on my hands. Not so much pressure as you come back in. Try to keep that pressure, especially on your right foot, consistent. Nice. You're counting, Mario. I heard that. Three four. and four. Is this four? Yeah. Okay, good. Mario's got us covered there. And <laughs> five. Press. Nice. Okay, keep those feet just floating. So lift your feet, Mario, point, 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 point. Stay pointing as you come back in. Stay on my hands. Good. Oh, fully straighten the legs. You've got to make sure you go to full extension without hyperextension. Neither of you really hyperextend though, so you can go full extension. That should have been the last one. Okay? Okay. Come back to the center. This distance apart for our calf raises. Nicely in the toe joints or the knuckles or the necks of the toes. We'll go back to our little looky. The resistance is going to stay, Paula. Oh, it is going to stay. So we've still got all of the springs on. Okay, and we're only going to do 10 though. So exhale, you're going to press out. Right into the knuckles of the toes there. Squeeze inwards on the block. And then slowly against that heavy resistance, lower the heels under. And then roll through those feet as you lift. Let me know if it is too heavy. Inhale, we come down and to rise. Good. So against this heavy resistance, you just want to make sure you don't suddenly drop your heels. Go a little slower there, Mario. We're all going together. And this should be four. Good. Now roll through the feet. Really articulate the joints, the movement in the feet. Hold it there, Mario. Can you go a little lower into the more into the toes? Good. And then keep going there. So under. Now when you lift on to fold these joints. Fold, fold, don't worry about the block. Fold, fold, fold. Good. And under. And fold. Check that your pelvis hasn't gone anterior. There's this tendency for the pelvis to follow the heels. How many there? 
Eight, good. Let's do two more. And really roll through the ankles for the last one to rise high. Bend the knees back in. Narrow. And now we're going to go to just three springs, three red springs. You can glide away. Arms down. Good. Your shoulders comfortable there. Okay, come back in. Just come in, pile for a moment. We're just going to make a little adjustment here. Yeah.
You're looking for about eight or ten of these. I don't know how many we've done. Exactly that. Exactly that. <laughs> about eight or ten. Exactly about eight or ten. <laughs> Roughly in that region. Okay, exhale, let's press out. Full extension, full planter. Keep the heel, return only by bending at the knee. Exhale, press. Good, Mario, straight leg, straight leg, straight leg, and return. You are trying to move that carriage as far back as you can through knee extension. Good, so there's no phase where the carriage stops and the knee jams straight. Think of lengthening through the quads. Especially both of you, neither of you hyperextend, so lengthen through the quads. Kala, you may be a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but not even I'm that much. Not to. You for sure are going to have to straighten that leg tomorrow. Reach that leg away. Much nicer. Beautiful. And we'll do our roughly three more. On guesstimation. Two more. So one more or two more? Two more. Two more. One and more now. Okay, and last one. Yes. So that was three. Well, guesstimation is good. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's roll off. And can we put the head rest down if they were up? You can put your foot bar down for these more as well. And then we're going to do our legs and traps. Okay, so I'd like you just to go to a red. So just one red spring. Feet down onto the head rest. You just got one red, hand. Eh? Yeah, okay, great. And then slide the straps over the thighs. And then you're going to stay there for me, hands will go on top of the knees. We're going to transition through a little roll like a ball. Take one to the arm, yeah, that's it, over the thigh, like the other side. Okay. Knees and feet squeezing together. So use the transition as part of the work. So really squeeze the knees, hug into the abdominals, and as you roll back, you're going to lift your legs, but end up in a chest lift. Lower back will melt, that's lovely. Shins go parallel to the floor. The ropes will come in underneath the shins. And the knees or the hip joint will be deeper than 90, but not a posterior tilt. So let's try anchor the pelvis more neutral and do hip flexion, not necessarily posterior. Then transfer, keep the height, but transfer the hands behind the head. And I will go back, that's it. Okay, now from there, keeping the body still, we're going to extend those legs out. Inhale, exhale, drag them a little deeper than 90, but without posterior tilt, you can go a little bit more. More with your knees to your chest. Good. Extend away, inhale, eyes down, Mario. Exhale, beautiful power. Lovely. Squeeze the inner thighs. And again, now you can take the legs as low as you can maintain the position and the safety of your low back, melted into the carriage. And we go again. So I don't mind if the legs almost go vertical, but the lumbar spine has to be melted. And we've only got one red spring on, so we are really giving you a lot of love. Good, last one. Pull it in. Hold it there. We're going to take the legs out, and when you bend the knees in, rotate the chest to the left. So first, you'll take the legs out. Now, as you return, let's rotate the chest to the left-hand side, but the knees track the center. Inhale, center with the chest. Exhale, chest lift with rotation. Hold it there. Both of you lift off your right shoulder blade, not towards the right, Mario, towards me. Looking at me, looking at me. Now, lift off your right shoulder blade. Keep that height. And we go legs long, back to center, stay high. And now rotation, but keep off the left shoulder blade. So less rotation, more height. Again, back to center, you guys. Amazing. Let's go. One more cycle. And extend. One more to the left and the right. Knees are together. Point the toes. Make it pretty. Inhale. Extend. Last one. Exhale. To the right. Bring it back to center. Legs extend. Bend the knees in. Transition is work. Hands to knees. And now you're going to try and do a little roll like a ball. So come up. A little bit of momentum. And you are home. Whew. Let's unhook the strap. Very nice work. Oh, indeed. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So for our hips, we're going to put a blue spring on. We'll bring the foot bar back up. So we should have red blue. End up with a red blue. And then you can go to lie on your backs again, please. That's it. Make sure they're both hooked in. Okay. Drop the straps over your feet. Make sure you're nicely in the middle of the reformer. Good. B 
be as beautiful as possible putting the straps on. Right. <laughs> Make it as safe as possible. Okay. So let's just find our little froggy shape. So your feet are the same V that they would be for your footwork on your toes. Knees are out a little bit to the side, slightly wider than your shoulders. Actually, let's go to shoulder width. So we'll just do our regular frog. And then just check in that your pelvis is neutral. So let's push the knees just far enough away that the femur is up vertically above the hips. So come out towards me to there. Shins parallel to the floor. And now just fold at your hip crease to pull the knees towards your chest slightly and see how far can you get into hip flexion without moving the pelvis. So let's just play with that for a moment. And then press away a little bit until the leg goes over the hip joint. Nice. Now anchor the pelvis neutral, sacrum anchor, and fold into hip flexion into a hip crease or a hip disassociation as you deepen the hip flexion. And then last one, press just to that, we'll call it that kind of loaded position, flex your feet. That's it, you can go a little wider. And then again, into the hip flexion, just crease at the hip joint. Nice, okay. Let's exhale, press the legs parallel parallel, the heels a little lower, out. Lift your head up. Maybe get a little bit of that head rest again. And then bring the legs back in, heels track parallel to the floor. We're going to do a little combination here. You're going to press your legs out, point your feet, and do an opening. Close back in, heels touching, flex the feet, pull back to frog. And press out, point the feet, go to the opening. Hug the waist in, strong straight arms, try not to hold onto the carriage. Return into Rock. Glide out, heels are parallel to the floor, plant a flex, pelvis stable, equal movement left to right for opening, try not to drop the heels, close through the opening, stay on that same line, flex the feet bend back to front. Last round like this, glide away, there is a purpose to this. Now as you take your legs out for opening, think less up, think more of the legs going behind you, to the wall behind you, so they track on the same plane. Then press back towards me, looks like they're going up, and bend to front. Okay, now press out to me, hold it there. You're going to do frog with your right leg opening with your left leg. So you're going to glide your right heel down the center of your body, left leg goes out for an opening. Okay, hold it there, keep tension on both ropes equally. Bring the knee a little bit, the heel a bit closer and hold it there. Okay, and then when you're ready, Paula, you're going to press your left leg, the working leg is the straight leg, back to the start. So you're going to bend your right knee for a frog, left one goes for an opening. And then use your left leg, press it back in. Straight left leg, use the left leg, both come together to bring it back in. Hold it there, hop your pelvis to the right a little bit. That's it. Okay, so now the left leg is the bending knee, the right leg is the straight one, but in any direction, the straight leg, I'd like you to make that the working leg. So when you return, the right leg is the working leg. Straight leg, Keep your right leg straight, do an opening and press this one out to meet at the same time. I'm going to let go. You're going to bend your right leg, right? Yeah. Good, try not to drop it. The left one goes out for an opening. Now make the left leg the working leg as you pull back in. The right leg comes along for the right. Now, of course, all of this is about pelvic stability. So let's bend the left leg, right leg reaches up into the wall behind you, beautiful. Good, without swaying the pelvis. Now work the right leg to return. You guys have got it, try not to hold on to the carriage. And we'll go again, last rounds. Bend the right knee, left one goes up, keep catch the pelvis stable. Left leg is the working leg, pull back in. The right leg is obviously following, but work this one to return. Last round, switch it out. That's it, find the heel down the center line, pelvis is stable, neutral, and then of course also we wanna try and avoid lateral flexion and swaying of the pelvis left to right.
Bend the knees towards you. Let's take the right leg out first, pop it back onto the bar, and then left leg out. And we will return. Come all the way in. So we're going to go back into that pelvic curl we started with in the warm up, only this time a lot less loaded. So we've only got two reds and a blue on now. <laughs> and I'm going to unhook your headrest and then into a toe position on the bar. And we'll have these guys, because it's always good to have that awareness so that the heels don't start to go into a V-shape as you roll. A little bit of space at the shoulder rest, so come a little bit further away, even you Right, you can use your arms. Right, take a breath in. Deep external exhale as you draw the nail to the spine, as you curl the pelvis up. Energy through the arms. The carriage might move a little bit, but then if it's moved, it needs to stay really still. Heels a little bit lower. That's it. Now you're going to roll back down without moving the carriage any further. So as you relax the pelvis down, keep the carriage where it is. So it's a little bit off the stopper. Keep it still. Exactly. That's a game. Remember, Pilates is just a game. Let's roll back up. So it's just about playing with how much tension, how little tension, how much push-pull should you or shouldn't you have at the feet. And roll back down again, so we'll use an inhale down, exhale up. Carriage nice and still. Energy in the arms, so there's almost this feeling of width across the collarbones. Let's do two more. Curl and curl and curl and curl. Oh, carriage stays still. And then articulating back down. Try not to come down too quickly. Okay. It's a lot of love for you there, Mario, there with the three red springs. Okay, let's go again. One more. Equal work for both of the legs. We want glutes working on both sides. Very nice. Curl back down. That should be a breeze there, Mario, now. No, it's not. Okay, <laughs> all the way down to the bottom. Let's come out from here. Let's go into a little stretch. Okay, let's just do our kneeling lunge stretch. If we've got a red spring, just one red spring. You're going to step, so you guys are going to be on your, you can come to the side, same as Paula, and you'll step your left foot, is that your left foot? Yeah, left foot forward. Now with the back foot, Try and really get the toes tucked other way. That's it. Tuck the toes even more and try to get the heel back. You're me okay? Yeah. Bring this shin. That's it. Bring that shin forward. Forward. Uh, not too much more. Okay, you might can bring your left shin a little bit further forward. Okay. Now try and get as upright as possible with your spine. Think of a slight posterior tilt. It's not the reality, but it's an internal thought. And then glide your only your right leg back without changing the position of the front shin. Keeping the pelvis nicely squared out. And find a stretch on the front of the right hip. Can you go a little bit more? Me okay? Yep. Good. Okay, hold it there. We want to try to bring the right hip up. Try to pull this hip up towards the ceiling for me. Pull the carriage in a little bit. That's it. And then I want you to twist your right hip back, left hip forward. More. Okay. Step this knee out, Mario, a little bit to the right hand side. That's it. Okay, now from there, we're going to see if we can keep the angle of the back shin, sorry, the angle of the back thigh completely consistent. So as you glide to straighten the front leg, try not to collapse onto the block or move away from the block. Good, flexing into the front foot, the body leans forward onto the heels of the hands and you're trying to anterior tilt the pelvis. That left hip back parlor, right hip forward. Good, and feel like you're pulling up and out of that left sitting bone. You're the opposite, right hip back, left hip forward. So I want you to swing this hip back. That's it. Okay, then bend into the front knee, but keep the angle of your back shin, your back thigh, I don't know why I keep saying shin, back thigh consistent, just until your front shin is vertical. 
up tall with the spine. Maybe you've got more space now to glide your right leg back a little bit more for more stretch. Find that new range. We're going to give you the block there again. The front shin should be vertical for now. We're still in the hip flexor stretch. Chest proud. A little bit of tuck of the pelvis. Think of internally tucking the pelvis. And then keep this pressure on the block consistent. Lead with the sitting bone. Press with the hamstring of the front leg. So careful of pushing with the quad of the front leg. You want to lead with the sitting bone. Most times we want to have right hip forward, left hip back. Yeah, yeah, not too much more than that. So you want to pull this hip back for me. That's it. Much better. And glide about it. Change to the other side. Yeah, lots of springs on there. No, I just changed them. Oh, okay. So <laughs> drink one. Okay, really try and tuck the toes under. So you're also stretching the foot. Oh, nice. You're getting a little stretch on the foot there as well. Okay, the shin is in line with this little button here in the front. You're up tall. Slide the left leg back, keeping the front shin vertical. Nice. You can go for an internal thought of a posterior tilt. You won't actually be in a posterior tilt because your body is in hip, or your back leg is in hip extension. So we need to try and drop your right hip down. So you want to do that and lift this hip up. Left hip up, right hip down. Good, so try not to fight it there. So you're going to bend here. Bend, bend, bend. Good, and let this be relaxed. Relax this, bring the carriage in. And then I want you to swing this hip down. More. That's it. Keep that and glide your left leg back. Left leg back. Mm -hmm. Without kicking this hip out. Okay. From the parlor, let's go back into the hamstring stretch. More lengthen the front leg. Flexing the front foot. Again, relax this a little bit. So you can swing this sitting bone down. Okay, so careful of kicking out your right hip. Oh, you're, no, you're good, you're good. Okay, then glide back in second round for the stretch until the right shin goes vertical again. Maybe there's a little bit more stretch now. Just drop the right sitting bone a little bit and then find your new stretch without collapsing. So there's definitely still work. Good, careful of kicking this hip out. Lift your left hip, this hip backwards. Swing it backwards towards the wall. Good, then gliding away through the front leg only and lifting the sitting bones. You can lean your torso forward, 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 creating some length there. Bend this knee a little bit. Good, and I want you to do lift here and now take the pelvis towards the left. Good, and push this sitting bone down. Bend your knee more. More. Don't fight me. That's it. Good. And then bring it back in. Try not to fight me. Okay. Right. Come all the way in. Lovely. Let's take the blocks out. And go back to your first. How's your knee? Fine. Okay, this will be good for the. You'll be off the knee anyway. For the scooter. So go back to the first side. We'll keep, we've got one red on. Let's keep the red on. You're going to flex that back foot again, like we did with a stretch. Really get into the necks of the toes. So try to tuck these toes forward here, Mario. Forward, forward, forward. Good. Then step your left foot back, so it's in line with the heel on the shoulder rest. Come forward a little bit more. Bend your left leg, float your right leg. Bend here. Float your right leg and try not to touch the carriage there. Okay, hold it there. I want you to come a little bit further forward. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to just put the block here. And then step your left foot quite a lot further forward. Yeah, that looks better. And closer to the frame. A uh, little bit, yeah, that's it. Okay, lift this knee and bend this one. That's it. Okay. I'd like to do scooter with a neutral spine. So you're going to stick the sitting bones out, find a little bit of lumbar lordosis. Drop the chin a little bit. Okay. Bring your right arm in so it's directly under your shoulder. The left one is just on the bar. 
Keeping the pelvis and the spine neutral for scooter today, we're going to inhale to press the leg back. Go, 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 go. Exhale to pull it forward without banging the stock back. Go at your own pace to pull back in. Find that little bit of rhythm in the scooter. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. So you guys are just going to keep going. Power bend your left leg a little bit more. Drop your right hip a little lower. Good. A little less neck. Nice. Both of you stay forward over the wrist. You can actually sit back, Mario, a little bit towards me. Sit back, sit back, sit back. That's it. Keep going. Two. And pull back in. One. And pull. Hold it. Now you're going to take your left arm. It's going to come off the bar, out to the side. Now spiral the palm inwards towards your ear as you bring that arm in line with your ear. Out in front of you. Good. In opposition to the leg that's moving. Keep the bend in the supporting leg, neutral spine, shoulders out of the ears. And let's go for that swing of the right leg. Exhale forward. Inhale. Exhale. Eyes down. Eyes down. Inhale. And now as you go, we're going to just talk about a couple of things to focus on. One is the down shoulder blade. Yeah, that one is staying neutral. Can you get the arm that's floating a little further back in line with the ear? Straight elbow there, Mario. Change the breath. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale. Both of you bend the standing leg a little bit more for two. Last one. And change side. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Other side. So we're looking for that feeling of the bird dog, that cross patterning. When we take the second arm off and a bit of upper back, just nice. And a bit of shoulder. And a bit of shoulder, a bit of leg, <laughs> a little bit of everything. Okay, so left foot nicely flexed at that back foot. The right heel, the down leg, needs to be in line with the leg that's up on the bar or on the carriage. Flex those feet, that's it. Now, go step your right, stay on the stopper. And then step your right foot, yeah, a little further forward. Forward, yeah. A little, again, one more little hop like that. Perfect. Okay. So lift this hip, lift the knee, the left one. Bend your right knee. Not too much chin there. It's a little bit more like that. Like that. Okay. So first, just feel it out. Remember, it's a game. Swing the left leg back. Inhale back. Exhale forward. And start to feel how does the scooter feel on this side. A little bit more bent in the standing leg. Let me know if you hit the carriage. Are you hitting the carriage? Mm, no. Just bypassing it. Otherwise, we can lift you. I don't want to lift you on this side because we didn't lift you on the other side. Yeah. A little tuck of the chin. Do a little bit of dynamic. Inhale and shh. With control still. So you are always in control of the springs. It's a little competition. Keeping that control. Exhale. Try not to fully straighten your leg. Good. So keep just the slightest bit of bend. Let's do two more. Last one. Nice. Hold it there. And we're going to take the right arm first out to the side. Spiral in the shoulder joint to bring that arm in line with the ear. Connecting in with the ribcage. Good. Eyes down. And we go. Swing back. Inhale. Lift into my hand, Mario. Think of serratus. The arm that's on the bar, that scapula is really having to stabilize. Think more lift into my hand here, Paula, here with the middle of the back. That's beautiful. And exhale. Bending the standing leg, keeping that leg bent. Inhale. And exhale. There's a lot going on here. Inhale. And exhale. Last two. And shh. Last one. And bring it in. Beautiful. Okay. So let's go down to one blue spring and we'll do our rowing series. We'll do all of them. We'll probably finish with the rowing series for time. There's so much in the rowing series, so I think it's always, it can count it for back extension as well, especially the second two. All right, so let's start facing the back of the Rukuma. So sitting, facing me over here. Oh, <laughs> the back of the Rukuma. <laughs> Okay, and then behind you, make sure that you've got a long hand distance or a vertical hand, let's call it. 
distance down on the carriage behind you. Okay, cross the legs out and let's go right over. Is that left over right? That's fine, left over right. So we both will start there and then take hold of your straps. And sitting really nice and tall, arms out in front of you. Find that extra little bit of lift out of your lower back there, Mara, even if you have to soften your knees a little bit. Get the back really upright. Okay, you can close the fingers or have them open, whatever works for you, but the elbows need to be straight. Straight, straight, straight. Great. So from there, the first action is just to pull the hands to the chest, the center of the chest. Then go into lumbar flexion. So as you start to move back, keep the hands on the chest. Lumbar flexion in the spine as you roll back to a position that you can maintain but as low down as you can possibly get that you're still in flexion. Then from there, you're going to take your shoulders into internal rotation as you reach out and your arms will end up at a slight angle. You're going to make sure the carriage stays still now. As you dive forward, the thumbs come back to touch at your spine, anywhere on your back that the thumbs can touch. The elbows might bend. Keep the forward fold. And then big butterfly swim of the arms up and over the shoulders. Your carriage will move here. Arms in parallel to the floor, palms are facing in, and then restack the spine back to the start. So they're even taller than the first repetition. We go again. So you're going to pull back, go into lumbar flexion as you roll back, take the springs with you, hands right up against the chest. Lengthen out through the legs in opposition to the crown going in the other direction. Then from there, you're going to reach out, internal rotation of the shoulders, keeping the carriage still, dive forward, carriage still as the arms sweep back, thumbs to touch. You guys have got it. Then big swim of the arms up and over, arms will go forward, parallel to the floor, palms face in, rebuild the spine, and you're back where you started. Should we do one more? A little taller on each repetition. You've got space to get bigger. Remember, it's a practice. It's not just repetitions. Each one we do is a chance to perfect it, to clean it, to create it a little bit more precision. Point those feet. Go, 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 go. There's always a little bit more there, Pilot. Good. Then internal without the upper trap. So try not to elevate the scaps. Internal rotation, but keep the scapula down and broad. And we dive. Oh, carriage still. <laughs> As you come forward, that's it. Thumbs come to touch, the elbows might bend, depends on your shoulders. Big swim up and over, arms come parallel to the floor, out in front of you, gently to the stopper, palms face in, and rebuild to the tallest spine possible. Turn the palms to face upwards. Change the legs, thank you. Right leg over left, so we don't forget. Okay, keeping the humerus parallel to the floor, the upper arm parallel to the floor. Sit a little bit taller and forward. And then keeping that proud chest, you're going to bend the elbows to a clean 90 degrees at the elbow joint. Then with that 90, start to again round into the lumbar as you bring the elbows down towards those hips. Good. Keep the collarbones broad. Point the feet in opposition to the crown of the head. Now there's a moment as you come up into flexion forward, a little bit of forward flexion, 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 and then extend the spine into that teaser-like spine, where the abdominals in the back are working at exactly the same pace, hold, I mean, same amount, hold it there, arms down a little bit, that's where you want to end up, so keep the spine, Mario, but bring the arms down, 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 down to there, straighten your elbows, and then lean your head back a little bit more, that's where you want to end up. Because now you're in your seated position, simply tip your spine forward, arms stay coming down to where you started. Okay, so Mara, when you come up, and Paolo, a little bit more precise, but you were almost almost there, is when you come up from this position, as you come up, you want to end with your arms at 90 degrees. So that you're already in your start position, you simply have to tip forward. The arm itself isn't changing, the shoulder itself isn't changing from that last, in that last phase. Okay? Let's try again. Arms up. Maybe it's a practice. Lift up a little taller. Straight elbows. Straight elbows. 
Keep it straight. So that's it. Okay. Bring in the elbows. Good. And almost there. So there, almost lean your chest forward a little bit as you bend. Good. Instead of leaning back. Now, curl into the spine. As the elbows come down towards the hips, watching the 90. Yeah, collarbones wide. Good. Now there's a moment of forward flexion. Then as you extend the spine, keep the abdominals engaged, more back. Find that beautiful 90 elbow, I mean 90 shoulder joint. Hold it there, Mario, with the arms. They give you more back extensors, more back extensors, more, more, more. Yes. And now just tip forward to your seat. Arms come with you. Make sense? Okay, one more. We bend Ooh, without leaning back. So let's just do that again because both of you did that. As you bend the elbows, your body wants to lean back. Okay, so as you bend the elbows, almost think of rather leaning forward just to keep still, but it's an internal change. Then curl down through the low back, shoulders nice and relaxed, collarbones are wide. Find that flexion, point the toes. Then there's that moment of flexion as you come forward with the spine. And now more back extensors there, Mario. Arms reach a little lower, Mario. A little lower, a little lower. Now more back extensors. So find that length. Good, straight elbows. Yes, beautiful. And then it's just a hinge at the hips for you to return. Yes. Yes. Okay, glad we got over it. Spin around. Yes, that's why I gave you the boost break. So there's a lot of stopping, a lot of talking. Okay, so now we're going to sit just with the legs together is fine. Right up against the shoulder rest. And then take your hands and see if you can slide them just between you and the shoulder rest. Just so you don't have that tendency to slouch into them, but that you're nice and upright. Take hold of your straps. Okay, just over the thumbs there, Mario. Just take a thumb grip. That's how this right. goes. So that's, that's it, just the thumb. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to take a thumb like that. Oh. Okay, nice and tall. Good. Try to get the ropes under your elbows there, and elbows just ever so slightly out to the side, just making space for the ropes. But now sit up a little straighter. So we're not going to do back extension because we're going to run out of time. This is your back extension. You'll feel that little back. From here, we're going to extend the arms out at an angle. The ropes will just slide under the armpits, palms face down. Then you'll touch down alongside your knees. And as your arms rise, they're going to now go into internal rotation at the shoulder joint. Sit up a little straighter. Feel that you can get those arms in line with your ears. Chin is lifted and narrow, shoulder width apart. Then turn the palms forward and sweep the arms out to the sides. Without collapsing the spine, sit up a little straight, all the way down. And then fold and the ropes will come under the armpits there, Mario, to come back up. Can we go a little bit of that and a little bit of that? Good. Right, sit up taller, 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 even if you have to bend your knees a little bit. And we go from there, that's better than the round spine. So we're gonna glide forward, Good. Not too high that you feel you have to lose the ropes. Then touch down alongside your knees. As you lift, internal rotation of the shoulders so the ropes bypass the arms. Lift tall. Both of you lift the chin, eyes forward. Turn the palms forward. Circle around all the way down to the floor. Palms are still facing forward. Then you'll bend. The elbows will lift slightly to allow the ropes to come under the armpits. Last one. Glide. You should feel your middle back working. You feel that, Mario? Little tip down. Yes, okay. And you'll feel your flexes as well. Okay, palms turn out. Good. Find your height. So here, think of the scapula going broad across your back. Stay with us there, Mario. Palms face forward. Circle down and back to the stop. Last three. Whew. Okay. We asked for this. Yeah, you asked for this, Mario. You asked for this. Okay. So from here, you're going to bring your arms with you. So I'd like you to start with your elbow in line with your rib cage. So it's like a little ball. So as you come forward, your elbow will be in line with your ribs. So from this side, you're in one ball shape and the elbow is in that same line. Beautiful. 
Now, starting with the lower back, you're going to start to extend the spine forward at an angle as well as the arms reaching in front of you, palms facing out, and it's all happening at the same time, but it's a growing from the lower back through the upper back. Try to stay forward and more of a V, but bring the arms up and the chin up a little bit there, Paolo. More chin, more chin, nice narrow arms. Good. Mario, more upper back, more upper back, more upper back, more upper back. Good, now bring that long diagonal into a tall vertical spine, sitting upright, looking forward. Good, narrow arms there, Mario, eyes up, eyes up, palms forward, circle around. And we start again. Bend the elbows. Watch for a moment. So that second phase of extension, I want, or the second phase of the movement, you're going to start the extension from the bottom. So the elbows will be in line with the ribs. And then as much as you're reaching forward with the arms, you're going to start by lengthening the lower back, middle back, upper back, and then you want to end up getting the arms and the ears in one line. So you don't want the arms here, because then you're going to lose the upper back work. Okay, palms face down. Elbows up a little bit. Yeah. Let's dive forward. Good, bring the arms with you. Good, now sink. Lower back. Arms as well, in line with your ears, which are much higher than you realize. Good. That's it. Nice. Bring the head back a little bit, arms back a little bit. Good. Keep that. Narrow your arms and close the ribs in. Good. Mario, we want you to give you more upper back extension, but now lean your upper back forward. Lean your body forward. More. More. Without flexion, long spine, hinge forward, hinge forward. Good. Lift your head. Bring the whole shape vertical, palms forward, and circle down. One more, one more, one more, one more. This is it for the day. Okay. Dive forward. There's a lot in the rowing series. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. You guys are rock stars. Okay. Now, from the lower back, we're going to creep forward and up. Arms in line with the ears. Turn the palms to face outwards. Find that line. Good, now keep that there, Paula, but see if you can hinge your body further forward. Yes. Bring that body vertical, turn the palms forward, finish all the way down to the bottom, bend the elbows, and then hook the straps and the poles at the back. Up you get. I think Paula's standing there, Mario's standing there, and let's just roll out those spines. Well done. Feet parallel to each other. Let's stand tall, arms hanging down alongside the body. Take a breath in. Exhale, soften the knees, chin to chest. Keep the weight forward in the toes. And just allow the spine to fall forward. Heavy, heavy, heavy through the crown of your head. Adding a little bit of rotation. Let's bring the left hand down to the floor. Keep the knees and the pelvis. Right arm is going to reach up to the ceiling. Try not to sway the hips out. Bend both knees equally. Right leg bends. Bring that arm back behind you, back to the floor. Right arm down, left arm up. Create a little bit of movement in that area of the back that you just would have been working. Bring that side down. Everything down. Hang the bodies down. Leave the head behind as you roll back up. Keeping the weight forward in the toes. Shoulders out of the ears. And your left hand. Well done. You 